Hi guys, and today we're reviewing a, well, it, you know it is a Fiat 500, but actually it's the Abarth 595. Now, even in the Abarth, there are several different versions. So, for example, you get an Abarth 500, which I think has got about a 145 horsepower, uh, and then you get um, a 595 with 165 horsepower, and then you get this one. This is a Competizione, which has the full 180 brake horsepower from its 1.4 liter four cylinder turbocharged engine. Um, they call it T Jet. So, quite an extraordinary little thing. Uh, I'll give you some figures 0 to 100 kilometers per hour, 0 to 62 miles per hour in 6.7 seconds, uh, 140 miles per hour. What's that about? 240 kilometers per hour or so. Um, it, uh, fuel consumption, it says 36.7 miles per gallon. I've been getting about 40, but I've been doing a longer runs as well, but it depends on how you dry it really, because it can be a quite a thirsty thing. Emissions, if you're interested, 155. Now, this car, like, like I said, this is pretty much the range topper in terms of performance, and it's 21,795 pounds on the road price. This one's got a few options on it, and it takes it up to 23,170. What do you get with the car? Well, you know, you get a seven screen touch screen with DAB and uh, CarPlay, uh, Android Auto and uh, Apple CarPlay electric power steering this is a five-speed manual uh, you get um, uh, airbags electric windows ESP tire pressure monitor you get aluminium sports pedals um, you get uh, Alcantara wrapped instrument binnacle here you get um, high performance air filter you get Brembo brake calipers uh, you get a high adjustable steering wheel I'll come back to that in a minute um, and you get all the usual things climate control uh, tire repair kit parking rear sensor no reversing camera though you don't need it I mean you look over your shoulder and there's the back of the car uh, <laughs> uh, anthracite finishing on the dashboard leather bound uh, steering wheel there um, door mirrors are in a different color on the options on this car metallic paint it's got hi-fi beats audio system which actually does sound really really good I've been enjoying that one especially on the streaming audio through DAB radio which is fantastic uh, aluminium uh, scorpion uh, antenna plug which is just sort of a little roundable it sits on the back of the roof which is kind of cool and uh, you get this one normally you get the red brake calipers this has got the yellow brake calipers with again a yellow scorpion in the middle of the wheel hub which is kind of cool and then it's got side stripe bumper and stuff like that so all of that then takes the price up to about 23,170 now uh, the Fiat 9, uh, 595 I have or the Abarth 595 I have driven it before but briefly, I've driven it on track and I've driven it briefly. This car I've had for a week now and I've driven it around town, I've driven it on motorways, I've driven it in you know, all kinds of conditions. So I've really had a chance to get to live with the car. So let's, uh, before we take it for a drive, let's quickly touch on a few things of practicality. Uh, I love this instrument panel. This is the uh, boost gauge, just tells you, it's just a fun little thing. It's not really that useful, but uh, you know, it's a fun little thing. There's a sports button there, which when you press that, that changes a little bit. So it makes it a little bit more dynamic and the light comes on there in sports telling you that it's in sport what does sport actually do uh, it makes the steering a little bit heavier meatier and uh, basically makes the throttle response a bit more it doesn't affect the suspension or anything else or the exhaust I didn't I didn't mention that it's got the record Monza exhaust which is utterly mental and on this car on this particular car it's on all the time uh, record Monza exhaust it's on all the time although having said that I think on the very very latest versions um, you can actually switch it down which you know around town it's a bit loud personally I like it like that but it's a bit loud so you can understand why they've done that now in terms of space uh, the boot is actually not bad and actually I transported uh, my kid to university put the rear seats down plenty of space that's not bad rear accommodation very limited if you're if you're tall like me forget about it if you're medium size or your kids you could maybe sit them in the back in the front you get these incredible I think they're Sabelt the sports bucket seats uh, very very comfortable very supportive got these incredibly huge side bolsters um, which really keep you fixed into place and you know really nicely sculpted they look great as well However, they are uh, mounted. They're very big for this car. They feel very big for this car. They're mounted quite high. The side bolters go right up against the door and the adjustment is through a knob uh, on the side of the seat, which again has a nice little scorpion on it, which is kind of cool. But to get to it, I can't from here. So I actually have to open the door to adjust this backrest. Um, 
but because of the nature of the car the pedals are quite far uh, quite close to me i'm long legged i'm six foot two and i'm long legged so for, for that reason and the steering is not uh, reach adjustable although it's rake adjustable so i have to put the seat quite far back in order to fit my legs in uh, the seat itself like i said is higher than it normally would be i think in a fiat 500 so i'm sitting quite far back i gotta stretch my arms out to do the steering and i'm sitting quite tall so although visibility normally is very good in the rear you can tell outside visibility is good but the only issue i have is because i'm sitting so far back and so high the roof slopes down quite a bit and so for tra if i'm sitting at traffic lights i'm doing this all the time just to sort of see where the lights are and stuff like that so that's a little bit of an issue and also if you've got big feet then there is a, a foot rest for your left foot next to the clutch but it's very small it's limited you can heel and toe uh, you just need to be able to twist your ankle a bit more in this car but the position of the pedals is close and they're at the same level so that's actually very very good uh, otherwise it's really really good like i said the stereo is good this um, ac no issue whatsoever five speed manual shifter beats audio let's take it for a drive so here we go straight away it just feels fantastic and this is in normal mode of switching oh oh my god hitting the sports mode i swear is like hitting turbo boost the moment you press it the throttle response it just wants to it jumps the throttle response instantly increases and wherever your foot is it actually jumps from there and just goes a bit crazy it's uh, it's fantastic um now when you was talking about the seating position and the visibility and all of this it probably sounded to you a little bit like i'm a bit down on the car a bit complaining and the fact is that whatever you may be thinking, I mean, wow, now we're motoring. When you do this, when you get into the car and you're out and you're able to stretch his legs a little bit, forget all of that, all of the issues, just basically you just brush them aside because you're doing this and you're going, wow, this is absolutely awful. <laughs> it just wants to leap for joy, you know? You know, this is the thing about this car, that, okay, that ride is solid and it just grips and grips. It's really, really tight. It's absolutely solidly planted, you know, despite the fact that it's jumping around on this bumpy road, but uh, it's solidly planted. There's very little movement like that, very little uh, float or wall or anything like that. There's a lot of bounce, there's a lot of rattle, there's a lot of, you know, jitteriness about the car, but that's just giving you a lot of feedback. But in terms of enjoying the car, the steering is very good. The weighting is just spot on. It's heavier in sports mode, but very slightly. It's just very well balanced and gives you a good uh, response and a lot of confidence as well. The gear shift is very good. Slightly rubbery, but that's a fear thing, I think. It's not unsurprising, really. Um, but the real thing about it is just the performance. It's just absolutely extraordinary, quite frankly, you know. And, you know, whatever gear you're in, you know, and you can heel and toe, like I said. But there you go sounds fantastic doesn't it no really really enjoyable the brakes are absolutely solid no issue whatsoever with them which is nice to know and reassuring in the car with this sort of performance but all round honestly this is where you enjoy this car you know no matter what you might think of its practicality or whatever i mean honestly if practicality is your concern and you like the fiat 500 shape then really what you want to do is get one of the regular ones but if you if you want the ultimate pocket rocket, which is what this really is, then the 595 is the one to get. And if you're going to get it, get for the 100, go for the 180 horsepower one. Why would you go for the less? Um, it is absolutely mental. That I would love to be able to say right now that I would have one of these. I really would because honestly, in this environment, doing this. I absolutely adore this car. My problem is that I personally don't fit in the car. And if you're thinking of getting one, I would highly recommend that you take it for a long test drive to make sure that you're comfortable over a fair number of miles in the car before you commit to it. If you are comfortable, then hey, hey happy days. It's fantastic. You're, you're not gonna you're not gonna regret it for one minute. So there you go. There's my review on the car. A massive thumbs up. Wish I was a bit smaller. There's one of those rare circumstances where I actually think that <laughs> to be able to drive and fit in this car properly. But other than that, love the thing. Uh, let me know what you think of the car, the review, uh, myself, comments below, below, above, below, wherever they are. Just put them there if you like. And uh, hope to see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo.